Hello guys, this is Group 5. I'm Jana Bautista. I'm Ashley Ubing. And I'm Bianca Comiso. And our vlog's agenda is about the youth's role, responsibilities, and possible contribution in raising awareness about DRRM in spite of the new normal. But first, what is DRRM? DRRRM stands for Disaster Readiness and Risk Reduction Management. It is about the concept and the practice of reducing disaster risk through systematic efforts to analyze and manage the casual factors of disasters. It is all about supporting local, civil, society, communities, household, and individuals to become less vulnerable and, let, and strengthen their capacity to anticipate, persist, cope with, and recover from natural hazards. DRR aims to reduce the effects of hazards and the vulnerabilities of a community to safeguard the level of development achieved. Specifically, the key concepts of DRR are the following. Governance, risk assessment and action, knowledge management by building, understanding, and awareness, risk reduction, and disaster preparedness. Next is the new normal. A new normal is a state to which an economy, society, or other entity settles following a crisis when this differs from the situation that prevailed prior to the start of the crisis. This new normal is caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the fact that the pandemic has changed how people live their lives on a daily basis, one thing that it cannot change is the occurrence of disasters. Disasters are inevitable and often comes without warning. This has led to the need of adjustment and adapting to a new normal. Whenever there is an end disaster, it has been a norm for people to prepare and plan in order to be safe from hazards. Now that the new normal has been implemented, there are more factors to consider in our preparations. These preparations include making sure to be always sanitized, always wear masks or face shield, or at least just a mask, making sure to maintain social distancing. Disasters are indeed stressful and frantic, but it's so much more now with the pandemic's threat. COVID-19 has significantly increased the risks to people's health and safety. Imagine surviving a life-threatening event only to discover later that your life is still in risk, not with, from the disaster itself, but from the effects of COVID-19. It is very much important to follow officials' orders for they know what is best for the community. Discipline and compliance to the authorities and the rules and regulations that they enforce for everyone's well-being is essential. What kind of group do you belong to? I've been involved for a long time in the Ministry of Leaders. What regulation has your organization implemented or established since the new normal began? By wearing, by entering the church, wearing masks, and disinfecting them, and maintained social distancing. Do you think everyone is compliant of this regulation? Not everyone because others has their own perspective about the COVID-19. Do they need to comply? Why? They should not comply with the rules and regulations, in my opinion. It's for their own good and safety and they have been established by the government policy. What is the purpose of the group you belong to? The purpose of the group that I belong to is to serve the community as much as possible while also ensuring the safety of the parishioners. So that's it for this vlog. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. I hope you learned something from this vlog. Bye! Bye. <laughs>